All right, hey everyone, it's uh, Mr. Pearson for Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade, and we have a little video activity here called Finding Perimeter, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a couple of different uh, shapes, some polygons that you're going to find the perimeter for. All right, so just to review, perimeter is the distance around a polygon, and the best way to think of perimeter is to think of it as a fence around the outside of a shape. So if I was um, putting up a fence in my backyard, I don't need to know how much grass I have. That's area. We'll talk about that in another video. Uh, but perimeter is the measurement around the outside of the yard, so I know how much fence that I need. Okay, so here we have a triangle. And as you can see, the sides are labeled. And I'd like you to find the perimeter. Very good. Here is a rectangle. And again, all of the sides are labeled. You've got 15 inches, 10 inches, 15 inches, and 10 inches. Use those measurements to find the perimeter. Here we have a square, and we know that a square, all four sides are the same length. Those sides are congruent. And so each side is six inches. Use those measurements to find the perimeter. Now, in this case, we have two, uh, a rectangle and a square that are combined together. All of the sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, all six sides of this are uh, labeled and use that information to find the perimeter. Okay, in this case, we have a triangle. And as you know, a triangle has three sides. And you can see that one side is labeled as being six, or I'm sorry, as being seven inches. Now, since the other sides aren't labeled, what I want you to do is just understand that all three sides are the same and use that information to find the perimeter. In this particular case, we have a square. Again, we only have one side that has been measured and labeled, and that side is 12 inches. Use what you know about a square to find the perimeter. And that right there is the end. Let me scroll back through, and we'll give you the answers here. Okay, in this particular case, the perimeter is... 15 inches, 5 inches plus 5 inches plus 5 inches gives you 15 inches. For this perimeter of our rectangle, we're going to add up 15 plus 10, which is 25, and then add 15 plus 10, the other two sides, another 25, for a total perimeter of 50 inches. On this square, we have four sides, each side measuring 6 inches, 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, is 24 inches. This one was a little bit trickier, but we need to add these up. So let's add up the 12 and 12. 12 inches on one side and 12 inches on the other side. That would give us 24. And then we have four measurements of 6 inches each for another 24. So the total perimeter in this case is 48 inches. This triangle, we said that each side is congruent. They all measure the same. Three sides, seven inches each. Seven plus seven plus seven is 21 inches. This square, uh, four sides, 12 inches each. 12 inches plus 12 inches plus 12 inches plus 12 inches is 48 inches. And that would be the end. Hopefully you did well on that. That was good practice for you. Uh, we'll see you for the next video.